332 Buzz. E. cola. Powerful termite and pest control. As gentle as a butterfly. Ask about E. cola's lifetime renewable warranty. 1 877 332 Bugs. The information station with information about sports. AM 1440 and FM 1063 KUHL. Good morning, 732. Information now coming up a little after 8 o'clock. It's Santa Barbara County Superintendent of School Susan Salcedo. We'll talk about some education issues, but right now, time to talk food with our favorite grocery gal, Amy Goldsmith. Amy's helped to launch and grow some of the most well-known brands that many of us eat or at least see on the grocery shelves daily. You can follow her and her antics on Instagram at The Grocery Gal, where she reviews new products and gives us a glimpse into her crazy life as a food finder. Amy, welcome. Welcome back to the show. Good morning, Don. Well, I know that uh, you've been out and about. You returned from a food trade show up in San Francisco, and many of those products we start to see on uh, store shelves. So uh, I don't know if you can tell us about any trends or products that you saw there. So what it's uh, what is it like being at uh, something like that, too? Yes, Ben. I was at the Winter Fancy Food Show in San Francisco, and this is about my 19th or 20th time attending. Um it's sponsored by the Specialty Food Association. And for us in the food and beverage business, it really kicks off the year for a variety of different food and beverage trade shows. And so at the Fancy Food Show, I mean, brands that we know and love, like Honest Tea, Ben & Jerry's, Pop Chips, Tate's Cookies, and Zico Coconut Water actually launched at the show. And now they're, you know, favorites and huge companies. So this is a smaller of the two fancy food shows. There's a larger one in New York in the summer. But by small, I mean there are probably about 1,400 companies. And if you think about all 1,400 companies have maybe about five or six different products, that's a lot of food and beverage and things to taste and try. So it's busy. There's about 25,000 people in about 230,000 square feet of convention space. So it's as you can imagine, it's aisles and aisles and aisles of chocolate and cheese and olives and o olive oil and baked goods and jams and salsas and teas and snacking items and so much more. Oh, boy, that sounds like fun. So you get to sample all that food, but um, I know if I was in your shoes, I might get kind of sick, though, sampling all of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right, and honestly, it's years of experience. My first show in about 2000, 2001, I got so sick. And I ended up making up my own trade show rules, which I adhere to to this day. But that's for another time. This year, when I was at the Fancy Food Show, I was really interested to see what was trending. And the biggest trend, which is not that huge of a surprise, is plant-based food. And I guess what's exciting to me about plant-based products are actually getting better. I mean, years ago, some of the stuff you couldn't even eat. It was barely edible. It was so gross. So today, I'm happy to announce that companies like Good Planet Cheese and Nut and Ordinary are making delicious cheeses that will actually kind of taste like the real thing and aren't filled with horrible binders. So we're seeing also products that, that happen to be plant-based, but not by intent. It's just calling itself plant-based. So, for example, like if you are a potato chip and you have no animal protein or no dairy in it, all of a sudden you're now a plant-based potato chip. You didn't really start out that way. But for sales purposes, now you're calling yourself plant-based. So we're seeing a lot of that as well. Oh, that's interesting uh, because I guess uh, because it's plant-based doesn't mean that it's necessarily good for you. Well, correct. And we see this with every single food trend. And I always think back to snack wells. Remember snack wells, the low-fat cookie in the green box? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, when this, remember that? Okay, so well, when snack wells hit the store shelves and became the first low-fat cookie, People were eating it by the bag, and they could not understand, or the box in this matter, they couldn't understand why they were gaining weight. So it's still a cookie. So while plant-based is better for the environment, and if you're eating fruits and vegetables and nuts and grains and beans and a true plant-based diet, it's good for you. When you're adding in the plant-based burger and the plant-based cheese and the plant-based chips and the plant-based ice cream and the plant-based cookies, those are still sometimes foods. They're not something that you should be eating all day, every day. So whether it's plant-based or not, you've got to really understand what you're eating and if it really is going to be good for your health. 
inside and your, your waistline. Yeah, very true. Grocery gal Amy Goldsmith joining us 737 here on Information Now. So I know that um, last time you were with us, we were talking diets. I don't know if this came up uh, at that conference you attended. Absolutely. So I think that we've all heard probably about this point about the keto diet. It's a very low-carb, high-fat, and medium-protein diet that sends your body into ketosis, which actually means it basically starts eating itself and you lose weight. Now, some consumers absolutely swear by it. Doctors tend not to like it. You can understand why, because it is very high in fat. But regardless, we're seeing a lot of products to support that diet. So we were, I was seeing a lot of keto nutrition bars and keto ice cream and keto convenience products that serve high fat and low carb. Also saw a lot of pre and probiotic gut health products, sauerkraut, pickles, nutrition bars. There's a new brand called Honey Mama. It's about one or two years old and it's part confection it's like almost part treat and part nutrition bar but it's made from honey it has some chocolate or other flavors included that includes probiotics it's delicious although it needs to be refrigerated but it was really good and there's also something called the truth bar which is a pre and probiotic nutrition bar and that's you know kind of always good for your gut health but what i really fell in love with at the show and i thought was incredibly innovative was an avocado leaf tea hmm okay so we talk about food waste and general waste. And so there's this guy, he and his wife bought a 600-acre avocado farm in Temecula, which is near San Diego. And they were trying to figure out what to do with the avocados, but also the leaves that grow with it. So she did apparently a ton of research, and they made a delicious tea from the leaves that also has healing properties. And it was really good. And it had it tasted a little bit like avocado, kind of that nutty flavor. But it was really super smooth. And actually, I posted some information on it on my Instagram page at the Grocery Gal if you want more information. But that was really a product that I thought was that really jumped out out of, out of all those thousands and thousands of products. Yeah, that's something a little different, too. Um, so any international foods or flavors you noticed up in San Francisco? Yeah, you know, we're, there, there was a Persian trail mix that was fabulous, fabulous, called Nilafar. And it had mulberries and dates and nuts and other ingredients, and I absolutely loved it. And I don't know if you know this, Ben, but the largest Persian community outside of Iran is in Los Angeles. Ah, so okay. in, in Southern Cal, we have a lot of Persian foods, which are actually, it's, it's like a Mediterranean diet. It's incredibly healthy, and there's lots of dates and nuts. Actually, really delicious food. So it's really fun to see some of those flavors in a, in a trail mix, and I think we're going to start seeing a lot more. Um, we also saw foods and flavors from the Caribbean and southwestern Asia, and also Puerto Rico. There is a, a banana ketchup and a mayo ketchup, which wow. I thought was fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, which I was happy to see Puerto Rico, you know, Puerto Rico represented. Um, also, Asia, Asian food is always big, so we were seeing seaweed chips, and there was some aloe vera and collagen drinks that were making its, making its debut. And so, like I said, you know, the fancy food is exactly that. It's fancy. So there's a lot of foods that you would see in specialty food markets, like cheese. Uh, there were so many aisles of cheese. I don't know how you tell one blue cheese from another. It was <laughs> wow. crazy. Yeah. But it was it was a lot of fun, and we're going to see a lot of these types of products on our, our store shelves. All right. So it looks like uh, your work is not complete. I think you've got another show coming up, don't you? I do, in March. And this is called the Natural Products Expo, and it's in Anaheim. And I bet there'll be some of our listeners will be down there. It's a massive, massive show, which is everything natural products. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be just food and beverage. It's uh, pet food. It's clothing. It's beauty products. It's uh, makeup, uh, hair dye. I mean, it's everything that would be considered a natural product. And, yes, there are buildings and buildings full of food. And so I expect there to see a lot of CBD foods, also a ton more plant-based and wellness-type products. Um, instead of just like what we saw at Fancy Food, which is really like highbrow, you know, fancy cheeses and chocolates. You know, I always think things you might serve during a cocktail party. This is really going to, you know, get down and dirty with the natural um, product, plant-based, you know, better for you type of food. Yeah, should be interesting there. So what is your prognosis for the avocado leaf tea? Is this something that's uh, going to be a big hit, do you think, or, or what exactly? <laughs> I think it's going to be fascinating. We're seeing, seeing a lot more avocado everything. There were avocado puffs. Avocado oil is really big. And especially for those who are on the paleo and keto diet, that avocado fat is a healthier fat. So we're going to start seeing a lot more avocado consumption. I mean, I know we eat a ton and 
Los Angeles, you know, Southern Cal, California in general. But I think we're going to avocado is going to become more and more popular across the country. Um, and as for the tea leaf, I mean, I think I think it'll have definitely some admirers. It was really, really good. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a, a multi-billion dollar business, but I think it has some, you know, sustainability on the shelf. All right. Uh, considering all the health properties of those avocados, uh, hopefully it does well, though. Yeah, I, I hope so, too. And again, it was really good. And right now you can buy it online. Um, and again, if you go to my page at the Grocery Gal, you'll see the packaging and um see more about it so you can order it online to give it a try but it, it was really impressive and I really like the fact that they were using all parts of the plant again m minimizing the food waste I think that's really important we all need to start thinking about that so I thought that was really innovative as well yeah definitely we've been speaking to grocery gal Amy Goldsmith and you can follow her and her antics on Instagram at the grocery gal where she reviews new products and gives us a glimpse into her crazy life as a food finder well Amy thanks for the insight here this morning I look forward to another visit with you next week I look forward to it, too, Ben. Feel better. I, I sure will. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> All right. Don't forget birthdays and anniversary wishes. 928-1440 is my number. Here at the Armstrong and Getty Show, we will continue to keep our campaign promises of bringing you all the highlights from the impeachment fracas on Capitol Hill. The highlights, the lowlights, pivotal moments that you really ought to know about. None of the blah, blah, blah. There's plenty of stuff going on in the world to talk about, including some restaurants are now adding a climate change surcharge to your bill. Seriously, next Armstrong and Getty Show. Coming up 9 until noon today, right here on AM 1440 and FM 1063 KUHL, the information station 744 will check california news and traffic and weather on the way now your political insights from abc news president trump opening up about former national security advisor john bolton and how he has gone back and forth on bolton testifying i don't know if we left on the best of terms i would say probably not you know and so you don't like people testifying when uh they didn't leave on good terms the president well aware of others testifying